Hi, story time lovers. Do you like being alone? Most people like to be with their friends or their family because you know what they say: the more, the merrier. But sometimes all the hustle and bustle can make you feel a little crowded, and then all you want to do is to be left alone. Well, that's exactly how Billy feels. Billy, or Billy McGill to be more precise, is a little boy who likes to live on his own on a hill, sitting comfortably in his armchair, reading a book with his hot drink and a cupcake, until one day he hears the squeak of a mouse, which destroys his peaceful existence. Alone was written and illustrated by the immensely talented Barry Falls, who is an award-winning illustrator and artist. From Northern Ireland, if you like this book, you should know that this is his second picture book. The first one is "It's Your World Now," a beautiful, moving, and funny celebration of life that highlights the potential of each and every child. In fact, Barry Falls wrote this book for his daughter to pass on some useful tips to her for when she might need them. And you can also visit Barry Falls' official website to find out more about his work as an artist and illustrator. So, are you ready to find out how Billy deals with the squeak that intrudes on his peace? Oh, and talking about the squeak, I have a little challenge for you. As we read, try and find the little mouse on every page. And now, let's read on. There once was a boy called Billy McGill, who lived by himself, on the top of a hill. He spent every day in his house all alone, for Billy McGill liked to be on his own. This is my hill," said Billy McGill. "I live here alone, always have, always will." Splendid aloneness, yes. That was the aim, so nobody called and nobody came. Life was so fast down below in the town, with the people, the traffic, the rushing around, the hustle and bustle, the coming and going. The world never stopped with its toing and froing. But life on the hill stayed exactly the same. Nobody called, nobody came. This is my hill," said Billy McGill. "I live here alone. Always have, always will. From morning to night and all the year round, there was barely a whisper and hardly a sound. Not a plip, not a plop, not a hum, not a creak. Till one day, the horror: a scratch and a squeak. Billy searched high and low and all over the house, until under the bed he discovered a mouse. No, Billy muttered, I can't accept that. So he went to the town and he brought back a cat. This is my hill," said Billy McGill. "I live here alone. Always have, always will. This cat will give chase to the mouse. Yes, it will." And then the peace will return to my house on the hill. But the cat liked to play, and the mouse was the same, and they both thought the chase was a wonderful game. Oh no! Billy cried, "It's a dog that I need. It'll chase off this cat and this mouse with great speed." But. The dog joined the game with the cat and the mouse, and they ran round in circles all over the house. Oh no! Billy cried. What they need is a scare. So he went to the zoo and snuck out with a bear. But the bear, feeling tired, collapsed in a heap, with the cat and the mouse and the dog fast asleep. Oh no! Billy cried. I must wake them up quick. A roar from a tiger just might do the trick, but the tiger he fetched had a terrible sneeze, 
and the roar, when it came, was no more than a wheeze. This won't do, Billy said. I must fetch him a vet, for I will get rid of these animals yet. This is my hill, said Billy McGill. I live here alone, always have, always will. The vet, when she came, said, let's knit him a sweater. This beast has a cold, it will make him feel better. I can do it for you, you must get me some wool. Fetch a sheep with a coat that is fluffy and full. So the sheep Billy found was as big as a cloud. How on earth will I clip it? He wondered aloud. My friend's a hairdresser, he'll know what to do, said the vet. He will shear the sheep nicely for you. So the vet asked her friend, can you help? He said, maybe as long as you're there to look after my baby. This is my hill, said Billy McGill. I live here alone, always have, always will. As soon as they came, the poor babe started crying and the hairdresser said, there's just no use in trying. I can't share the sheep while my baby's upset. We must get him a toy. Oh, the poor little pet. To the toy shop, said Billy. I'll be back very soon. He returned with a fabulous bright red balloon. Oh, how perfectly chosen, the hairdresser said. His favourite colour has always been red. But just at that moment, the wind began blowing. The house was beset by a thunderstorm growing. The balloon disappeared in a gust through the door. The hairdresser screamed. The baby cried sore. Enough! Billy roared. I can't take any more. All this noise and confusion. And what is this for? This is my hill. I am Billy McGill. I live here alone. Always have. Always will. With a huff and a puff and a miserable frown, he trekked off through the rain to the far side of town and beyond through the valley and over the sea to a place high and lonely where no one would be. Now this is my hill, said Billy McGill. I live on my own, always have, always will. The evening grew cold and as the sun set, he thought of the tiger, the sheep and the vet and the dog and the bear and the hairdresser too. And just then, a red balloon blew into view and the poor little baby popped into his head, the baby whose favourite colour was red. He reached for the string and he went down the hill and over the sea. He kept going until he had passed through the town and arrived at his house, the one with the dog and the cat and the mouse and poop everywhere and the sheep was asleep with the bear on the chair. I'll fix this, said Billy. I'll fix it all soon. And he handed the baby the bright red balloon. The baby stopped crying and fell fast asleep, and the hairdresser set about shearing the sheep. The vet made a sweater the tiger soon wore, and the tiger, much better, recovered its roar. The bear, in a panic, ran out of the house, chasing after the dog and the cat and the mouse. The rest of them left in a minute or so, and Billy was pleased to see everyone go. This is my hill, said Billy McGill. I live here alone. Always have, always will. Now Billy is happy and peace is restored. His house on the hill is in chaos no more. There's hardly a whisper, there's barely a sound, except on Tuesday when friends come around. The end. So, did you find the little mouse on every page? If you didn't, play back the story and try and spot it again. Another little challenge for you.
Do you remember how many animals Billy brings home? Can you name them all? Press pause and have a think. Let's see. There's the cat, the dog, the tired bear, the tiger with a sneeze, and the big woolly sheep. And one last question. In the end, what do you think Billy prefers? To live on a hill on his own or to have company? To get your own copy of Alone to read again and again, please check out the description box below. And I would love for you to consider subscribing to my channel and my Instagram page. Take care, read on, and see you soon.